quick video on how to pressure test your mini split what we have here is a generic ebay conforto whatever that word is mini split and i've already have run the lines but i haven't released the refrigerant for all the knuckleheads on youtube you cannot check a line set for leaks with a vacuum pump no part of this system works under a vacuum this thing will see up to 500 PSI worth of pressure. So pulling your little 30 inch vacuum, first of all, will seal a crack in a lead pipe, or excuse me, in a copper pipe, because as you suck the air out, the air pressure around it squeezes the pipe together. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze the crack closed. That's why you wanna use pressure. Pressure will force the crack open, or will show you the leaks around your fittings now i normally in a perfect world i'd have you know a three thousand pound nitrogen bottle i'm not going to go buy or rent one but i do have this this will go up to 135 psi and as you can see i'm cranking this all the way up right now i got 120 that's what the set point is so i got 120 psi going into this these line sets under normal conditions will see up to 300 PSI. So, got my soapy water. Connection's good, not losing pressure there. This is a homemade contraption because you really can't find a, an adapter that goes from this quarter inch FIP, I guess it is, to three eighths FIP. I, I couldn't find one, so I just basically made one up. This is my connection here. You can see. No bubblies. So right now I am good there. Now you have another set. You have to check up here. And I am not seeing any bubblies. So that is how you pre that is how you leak check your mini split. You don't pull a vacuum on it. The vacuum will seal a leak. It will actually suck the copper back down onto itself and it will actually seal the crack. You have to pressurize the system. Again, perfect world. You're going to get a 3000 pound nitrogen bottle, a high pressure regulator, high pressure rose, blah, blah, blah. I don't have that. This is good enough. Uh, complaints about moisture in the line. Well, no, not really. Uh, this tank was charged last night and I let it sit. Um, if there's any moisture in there, well, guess what? I will put this under a vacuum to actually evacuate the lines and that should draw out the uh, rest of the moisture if there's any in there. I do have a charging set. This was $20 off uh, Amazon. This is specifically for either charging your system or pulling a vacuum on it with, uh, with a vacuum pump. And as you can see on the gauge here, it is for R22, R134, and R, or excuse me, 134A and R410A. This is what you need. If you buy the line set from Harbor Freight, you won't get the correct connections, nor will you get the proper gauge. The uh, line set from Harbor Freight does not go, does not have the R410 uh, readings on it. Um, so it's not a big deal if you know how to do the conversions or if you look up the conversion on the table. Also, if you notice, I don't have a disconnect no disconnect and that is code compliant because the system is designed with the controller and everything on the inside of the house uh, the code is unless the manufacturer specifically does not allow you to modify the cable which it specifically does not in the manual you don't have to cut it open and install a disconnect um, the manufacturer designed the system this way that's the way it's installed, so code can basically kiss my ass because there's no way I can legally cut that cable um, without voiding manufacturer's warranty. And voiding manufacturer's warranty just to install a cutoff that kind of doesn't that kind of defeats the purpose. So um, that's one reason. Second reason is there is no AC technician on the planet that's going to come out and service this unit that I installed. Why? Because HVAC technicians are basically dicks. And uh, unless they install it and charge you $1,000 to do something you can do in two hours, uh, they're not going to want to come out and fix it. So 
seeing that this is uh, a $400 eBay unit, um, yeah, I'm not going to pay anybody to come out and fix it. I'm just going to go ahead and buy another one. So again, that's why I don't really care about a technician coming out and fixing this because it's never going to happen. So that's my rant about uh, charging pressure testing line sets. Again, you have to use pressure to test for leaks. And again, we've been out here yipping and yapping. Even though this is plugged in, I'm still at 120 PSI, so I'm not leaking. And I'm not seeing any bubbles. So we are good to go. And I'll do another quick shot up here. And no leaks. Oh, pretty good. This is just basically Dawn dish soap uh, and some water, probably about 20% Dawn. I like it nice and oily, foamy, liquidy goodness because I want it to make bubbles, not wash or clean it off. You see all that soapy goodness. That's so the soap actually sticks on the pro on the uh, pipe and bubbles up if there is any leak. And right now I'm not seeing any leaks. So do your shit right. Get a pressure source leak chest check with pressure evacuate to get the moisture and everything out. Then open up your valves and service your unit.